Watch out, folks. What's up, guys? Uh, today I'm going to be doing another video again. It's Monday night. I told you guys to look forward to this video. Uh, I'm doing the unboxing, or an unboxing, of the EVGA GeForce GTX 760 Superclocked Edition. It has 2 gigs of GDDR5 memory with the ACX cooling and the GPO boost, GPO, GPU Boost 2.0. So it's capable of three-way three -way SLI. Uh, I just got it today from a friend on campus for cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Well, cheaper than cheaper than you could get it, I suppose. So, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and flip over to the back here. So, really, this is nothing you guys haven't seen in my other video about the normal GTX 760 graphics card has NVIDIA um, anti-aliasing, GPU Boost 2.0, PhysX, um, more anti-aliasing, adaptive vertical sync, NVIDIA surround, four uh, uh, monitor support, so DisplayPort, HDMI, DVI Digital, and DVI, uh, DirectX 11.1, 3D Vision, SLI ready, NVIDIA CUDA cores, PCI 3.0, NVIDIA Shield ready, uh, and the package contents are obviously the graphics card, the driver disc, the accessory pack, quote unquote accessory pack, and uh, the 8 pin and 6 pin power adapters. So, go ahead and take my knife again. We'll open this baby up. And essentially, this is the exact same as the normal 760, just with a higher boost clock. Of course, I don't have the boost clocks on the top of my head, so I can't read them to you, unfortunately. I'm just installing some new NVIDIA updates right now. Go ahead and open this baby up. Inside the box, we have what looks to be a poster, I'm going to assume. I don't know which poster it is this time. Ooh, this one, The Art of the Game. I like this one. I like this one uh, a lot better. It's kind of cool. It looks like a it looks like a dark elf from Thor. So I might try and find a place to put that up as soon as I can get a frame. I don't know how big that is, but it's pretty easily measured. Graphics card user guide, of course. Ooh, enthusiast belt stickers. I haven't gotten these before. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Quick start guide, the disc, ah, and of course another powered by EVGA case badge, which is perfect because it matches the one that I already have on the front of the Phantom. DVI to VGA adapter, don't need it. Molex to 6 pin, and a Molex to, oh no, this, I'm sorry, this is a, yes, yeah, this is a Molex. Or wait, oh no, 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 no! It's a, it's a, uh, the eight pin to six pin power adapter. That's right. So here's the actual card. Pop it open real quick. There it is. It does have the SC for super clocked. Go ahead and pop it out of the plastic packaging here. It's very, very well packaged. Oh, it does look like the other one. Sweet. Okay. All right, guys. So here it is. It's got the plastic, of course, over this plastic shroud. Take this plastic off. I'm actually a little shaking right now because this is really, really exciting. Go ahead and take that off. I believe there's a little bit of plastic on top of the SC. Most likely is because they're always. UGA is actually very, very good about their packaging. Yeah, there it is. A little tiny one. Okay, cool. And of course, we have stickers on the UGAs. Just like that. There's another one one all the way up on the top here. Take that one off. And of course there are two on the fans. Very, very easy stickers to remove. So here's the actual card. Go ahead and remove all these plugs for everything. DVIs. Take this rubber off of that slot there. And there you go. Here is the GTX 760 with the ACX cooling from EVGA. It's very, very nice. I love this cooling so much. It's not even funny. Uh, here is the top of it. So it looks pretty much exactly like the other card, which I'm actually very glad of uh, because I thought on, on numerous 
numerous pictures that you see, the shroud actually touches the PCB. Uh, yet on this one, it doesn't. So that's that's fantastic. Of course, it does have the SC right there for super clocked. Has the PCI connectors right down here. The uh, aluminum heat fins along with six copper heat pipes with a six and eight pin power connector that you need. Here's the back PCB, which will, you know what, I'll set this down real quick. Oh, SLI connector on the top. And the this card will have this EVGA backplate over it, which will look a little something like this. So if you see this video, ooh, it's shiny. If you guys see this video up, that means the installation was successful and everything was good. And now I have SLI, two 760s in SLI, which will actually beat one 780 and one Titan. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Ask me any questions about the card. I will try and put all the boost clocks and the information in the description down below. And I will see you guys next time.